football fans, and welcome to week 13 of NFL Smash Mouth Football. I'm Jake Turner. Last week we went 11 and 5. 11 and 5. I had games last week that I should have won. But I will admit something. I did take KC over San Diego. Well, I ain't taking KC this week. So let's just get right into it here. We got St. Louis at Chicago. Can somebody please tell me why a 1 and 10 against a 4 and 17 is interesting? I mean, take a look at this. The Rams rushing 118.7 yards per game. Hey, that's good. But how many touchdowns do you have? Four. Four touchdowns. Good Lord. What is this? I didn't know this was UFL football. Did anybody tell me that? Let me tell you something. What is wrong with the Bears? There's a lot of things wrong with the Bears. And you can look right up at the front office. His name is Jerry Angelo. And his first big problem was when he decided to make Matt Forte the runner, the starting running back. And he hasn't done anything. He hasn't proved anything. Even an undrafted kid from UCLA actually outran him against the Eagles a couple weeks ago. Jay Cutler is whining because he doesn't have any wide receivers. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean Johnny Knox that might be a potential rookie of the year having a good season? Devin Hester out of the University of Miami doing great jobs. The biggest problem is that they took away the gift of Hester. Kick returns. Kick returns. This guy was averaging six to seven kick returns a game. And I cannot even believe the Bears are even a football team right now. It's a disaster, especially when your leader, who is out, Brian Urlacher, decides to fire off on you guys. And I admire that. That actually shows some moxie and actually somebody who wants to play some football. As for the Rams, this is a team that needs a lot of rebuilding. They got the coach. They need players, though. There's no talent on here. I feel like I'm watching Major League back to the minors. Well, let's not talk about that. Anyway. St. Louis, Chicago. This, I don't know. This is going to be a low scoring game. Why do I say that? Well, how about Jay Cutler? I'm going to predict about at least two or three interceptions this week. This guy leads the NFL in 20 interceptions. Did you see that game against the Vikings last week? It was atrocious. Jay Cutler had a chance to make this a football game. It was 17 to 7. They had the ball, and he underthrows his wide receiver on the left side of the end zone, and Cedric Griffin for the Vikings picks it up. How are you supposed to lead a team when you underthrow your wide receivers, when you overthrow your wide receivers? Get it together, Cutler. You have the potential to be a great quarterback, but you need to find it inside you. You need to get rid of that little smarminess of yourself, find something deep inside, and actually play a good football game. It's the St. Louis Rams, who has as much talent as my pinky finger. I'm taking Chicago to win this one 16-13. Mainly because I think Color will actually pull it out in the last second, and they got a reliable kicker in Robbie Gold. Bears 16, Rams 13. Oy.